Hey guys, Brad here. Today we're going to show you how to attach this access panel onto the wall as well as prime and paint it. So first we're going to silicone this on. Now you don't have to use silicone. You could also use a construction adhesive like a PL Premium that works great. But I just happen to have some silicone so that's what we're going to use. So we've already cut the hole and got this in place but now we want to attach it to the wall. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. Number one, you could silicone the edge or glue the edge and then apply it to the wall. But I'm going to put my glue or silicone right onto the drywall. That way I don't over glue it or if I put too much on the inside, it won't actually touch the wall. This way you're ensuring that if you get it right on the edge, you are going to get it onto your panel. So let's get to it. So pretty easy. All we gotta do is just apply a small little bead right onto the wall. And once that's done, we'll take our panel and we'll carefully push it onto the wall. And that's it. Now, We'll tape it off to hold it in place. And I'm just using a painter's tape. You want to use a decent tape that isn't going to peel the paint off of your current drywall. Now I'll just let this set up overnight. Next day we'll go back and we'll prep this for paint and we'll be good to go. If you have any questions and you want to actually have a physical conversation with me, Look down below in the description box, we have PalTap and you can actually phone me and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. We can talk about your renovation project, what you need to do, what you want to do, that kind of stuff. And uh, I can help you along with any sort of queries or questions that you might have for a project. All the details are down below in the PalTap link. It's the next day and the silicone is dry. So we're going to pull all this tape off and we're going to start prepping for our primer. So if you're liking the video, please subscribe, hit that notify bell and give me a thumbs up if you like it because it really does help out the channel. So let's get to it. So we can throw all this tape out. Notice it didn't peel any of the paint off. So we're good there. Now the tools you're going to need for this part of the project, you're gonna need a paint tray. I like to use liners. You're gonna need some small rollers and the handle. You're gonna need some more tape, a knife, a sanding sponge, a tack cloth. You're gonna need some multi-purpose primer and you're gonna need your paint. Make sure for your primer, you do check with your local paint store about what primer to use while painting onto this material. Some primers won't adhere, so make sure you really do check into that and they'll help you along. So first thing we want to do is tape off the wall because while we're painting, we don't want to get paint onto our actual drywall. So we'll just run around like this and get the tape on. Now I'm going to do this pretty quick, so you might want to go a little slower than me if you have to. And we want to get this little rounded corner in here, just like that. Now, if you're actually painting the whole wall, you may not have to tape your wall off. So it just really depends on your situation. there and I missed a piece down at the bottom okay so now that we're all taped off we want to take a sanding sponge and just a medium grit is fine we would just want to give it a little sand just to rough it up so the paint can bond to this really well Okay, once we're done that, you want to take your tack cloth or cheesecloth and get all that dust off. Let 
Make sure you have a nice clean surface. Now we will open up our primer. Pour a little bit in. And we can start painting. So you see, good thing I've got tape because I got a little bit on it already. So this PVC panel here is not going to allow regular paint to stick to it. So you want to have a good primer that is meant to stick to PVC and this will be your bonding coat for your paint. Now we'll let this dry for a couple hours once we're done and then we'll give it another sand, give it a tack cloth, and then we can go on from there and actually use our color. You can notice I'm painting right over my joints. It's not really a big deal. When I'm done, I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to cut that paint out. That way I get a nice seamless joint. Plus, I'm never really going to be accessing this panel too much, so I'm not worried that I need to be painting everything really individual. If it's something that you need to be accessing all the time, you might want to actually take the door off from the frame and paint it that way. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna let this dry. Once we're all dry, we're gonna sand it up and we're gonna get into our second coat. Okay, so now that the primer has been drying for about two hours, we're gonna give this a light sand. Then we're gonna use our tack cloth to clean up all the dust. And then we're gonna add our first coat of paint. After that, if you want, you could do a second coat of paint. Typically you need to because it might start to flash through. That means you can still see the primer and we'll let it dry. Once it's all dry, we'll pull the tape off and we'll be good to go. Let's get to it. You can actually see this paint wasn't mixed very well. So make sure you get it shaken up really, really well. So after vigorously shaking this, we got it all mixed and we've got all the colors blended we have our gray that we wanted in the first place. So this paint isn't special. The primer was the special paint that would bond to the PVC. This is just your standard paint. It's a matte finish and it's the color gray. I just picked a random color for this and we're gonna get going. As I'm painting here, I'm just sort of putting it on as fast as I can, and then I'm gonna roll it all out when I'm done. That way I get a nice uniform finish. So I am kind of rolling all over the place here. It is tight quarters, but I will give this a final straight roll at the end here, just to give myself a nice uniform finish. So I will note when you're rolling, you typically roll in this direction with your roller this way because you put pressure on this edge. That way this edge is just feathering out as you go. So you don't end up leaving a line. If I was to go this way, I might actually leave a line every time I roll down. So that's one little tip. Always roll this in the direction that you're going. So now it's all painted. We can let this dry. We might add a second coat, but you can see it's all done. And once it's all dry, I will take my knife and I will run it down these edges right here because I'm sure I'll have a little bit of paint stuck from the frame onto the door. So I just want to kind of clean that up. So I'll do that once this is all dry. 
can kind of hear it. That's the primer in there. Can I hear my knife rattling on it? So that's just a little tip too. You don't want the paint to be stuck from the door to the frame because then it'll peel off. So just run your knife around it and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, keep on crushing it, and we'll catch you later.